Hey love, welcome back. I am back with another video. However, if this is your first time here, my name is Lisa and in this little space of mine, I love to share all things beauty and a little life in between. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys, I'm excited to be sharing with you guys, my foundation and or base routine, which I feel like has elevated um, ever since I've really, really just been focusing and honing in on you know, just doing my makeup and perfecting my makeup application skills. And so base, foundation, all of those things are slowly and surely becoming like my favorite like products and like my favorite thing to do. And so I'm super excited to be sharing this with you. And so without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, and so what I love to use as part of my base routine is this Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. Um, it serves as both a moisturizer and a primer. It's a moisturizing primer. Um, and that's ultimately why I love this because it is super hydrating. The finish on your makeup application is chef's kiss. Um, one of the things that I've been doing recently, of course, you always want to start with a primer. Um, I've been applying my primer and letting it sit for about three to five minutes so that it saturates and seeps into the skin. This allows you to accomplish a long lasting base application throughout the day. Um, it helps for the foundation to ultimately stays and stay in place. And so no longer am I like just adding it and then going right into it afterwards with my foundation. So now that I've allowed that to settle into my skin for roughly about three to five minutes, I think it has been roughly about three minutes. I'm going to go in with my foundation. I am using my bae, my fave, well one of my bays, definitely my fave as of right now, um, the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation, the color that I'm using is 7N. Something that I've been doing over the last year or two is applying the foundation to my, the, my wrist or the palm or whatever like makeup tray that you may or may not have. And I've been using a brush to apply just a little, sometimes I get a little um, heavy handed um, to my face. Okay, avoiding this center area right here. What I've been trying to avoid is applying makeup on top of makeup on top of makeup because this is where my concealer is going to go. Applying my foundation lightly and because I can always go back, right, whenever I need to. Um, I know a lot of times while we're watching videos on TikTok or on Instagram, you know, we see people do these like strokes and, you know, with their foundation and that is ultimately going to cause the the disruption of your skincare products that's laying underneath your skin and the disruption of the primer that you just applied. Um, and it doesn't make for a beautiful application. And so what you want to do is lightly tap the foundation into your skin. Of course, I can always go back in and add more if I wanted to build the application, um, especially if you're using like a buildable foundation. Notice I'm avoiding like the area like around my eyes. Soon I'll probably be that girl who color corrects um, because my skin has just been so disrespectful lately. But as of right now, I'm just, I'm not that girl, right? I'm not that girl. You also want to go ahead and apply the foundation right here at the perimeter of like your chin. You can also come into your ear right here because you know, not all parts of our bodies are the same, you know, they're just not the same color. Well, mine isn't. I think slowly, you know, throughout the years it has been. Um, it hasn't been, but I think um, as of recent, it, it has. So I think I want more coverage. So I'm going back in 
with my foundation um, because I've had some breakouts. So I want a little bit more coverage, just a little bit more. And I do still have some foundation on my wrist. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna keep that right there, right? I'm gonna keep that there because we are gonna end up using that foundation. Um, I am now going to go ahead and highlight, you know, the areas that you're supposed to highlight with this Born This Way Too Faced Beauty. This Too Faced Beauty Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting, that very, very long name, right? I'm going to go ahead and highlight with that. Still the area where I didn't apply any foundation. Um, I've actually been <laughs> loving this right here um not only this color this is maybe like a tad bit of like lighter than what i should be using but i've been wanting like lately like more of a va va voom type of like lightning coverage Okay, and so this is in the color Chestnut. I'm also gonna come in a little bit right here, bring in another color. I guess it's not that much of a difference. Let me know if you think it's that much of a difference. But this is the Stay Woke Alma Beauty um, Concealer in the color Black Pearl T1. Mm, I guess maybe it's not that much of a difference. And what I've been trying my hardest not to do is to fill the top up with um, too much concealer. While I'm allowing this to sit, I'm gonna go ahead um, and use this, what is this? Somebody, if y'all could tell me what this, Juvia's Place. This is a Juvia's Place concealer. Um, I wanna use that to like highlight the top of my brow because this is the closest this concealer is closest to my skin um either i can use the foundation or i can use that while i'm allowing this to settle in as well i'm gonna go ahead and let me go ahead and do a little do a little contour i'm using the lys Love Yourself, this cream stick, cream contour stick in the color No Limits Worthy. I hope I said that correctly. This right here is like super pigmented, right? The color underneath it I feel like matches my skin perfectly, so I probably wouldn't want to use that to contour. Um, and so I just went a tad bit darker. Um, what I'm going to do though is I'm going to apply that to my wrist and use something else to to apply it to my skin okay and then we're gonna go ahead and contour give that face a lift honey and i'm going ahead and contour up um for the top here you know what i'm gonna do and i'm only i'm using this because um you just want to do that lightly because this is so like pigmented y'all i swear Oh my gosh, like look at that. Go ahead and shake that just a little bit and then I'm gonna also go ahead and do a little shake to my nose <laughs> because it's my nose and I don't want it like just too harsh. Just so I can avoid any like indentations, I'm gonna use a brush. I cannot find my um, little nose brush. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's blend. I'm, I'm hoping I didn't allow this to sit too long, right? I've been using a brush as opposed to a sponge lately. Um, I feel like I get like better coverage because I don't have the sponge, which would be damp, um, to be there soaking up any product you know I need I pay for my product 
and I need as much product to remain on my face as possible right and I probably put way too much concealer do all the little ugly faces that you can to get into those creases um, because this 30 plus year old girl look child every day I find a new crease <laughs> that I did not know was there every day I like to bring this down around here like by my nose okay and um, what I'm doing to like blend this is I'm going in like kind of like a flickering stroke like around my mouth and my chin Now, what I am gonna use a sponge for is because I didn't get this area above my brow just perfect. I'm gonna use that to like, because there's still like some wet product from the Juvia's Place Foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and just press that down deep into my skin. It may require for me to go back in with a pencil because child, I probably just took some of these eyebrows off but you know what? That's okay. That's okay. We're going to go back in here with this pencil. Okay. And then we're going to go here at the top. Or I like to brush that up into like my hairline. Okay. And I know you see that like that indentation line, right? But remember, we still have more foundation on my wrist and... That is what I'm gonna use to help with that. Um, I'm gonna use this brush to just blend this in here. I'm gonna push that up. Because we want to contour up. Okay, and so, <laughs> I, See that this is creasing already, right? So I'm gonna have to get in the habit of moving fast, but I know you see the the harsh lines, right? I'm gonna fix this a little bit here. You just have to do that here. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this excess. Um, foundation that I have and right here where that harsh line or where the like demarcation line meets I'm gonna place like my excess foundation there and that's how I'm gonna blend that out okay I'm gonna use this foundation brush to get this in here just a little bit okay it's not too I don't think it's too harsh I think I helped helped it too with using my foundation to ultimately like blend that out now I need to be the one to move a little faster because of like my creasing now in my eyes if I allow this to sit a little too long that's gonna cause like separation um, I have been trying to do things to like help down there like masks just making sure it stays hella hydrated right but this is what I've been doing to help with the creasing this is something that I've um, been seeing like trending i'm not gonna be i'm not gonna say hey i was the first to do this because it's not something that i shared on my platform but um it is something that i found that helped before i started seeing all of these videos um about um you know a certain makeup artist 
having this be um, their method, but I'm pretty sure he credits the, the creator. Um, so I take this powder here, this pressed powder. I use this Black Radiance Soft Focus and I don't mind using a a color that's darker than what I should because I'm gonna end up highlighting that anyways or going over that with my setting powder anyways anywhere where I know to you know crease I'm gonna just go ahead and apply that not only underneath my eyes I have this little area right here and it's probably because I got I keep a stank face a stank stank face right that's probably why like for many years that face just been stank um, <laughs> but I have like this area that creases like right here so I'm gonna go ahead and apply that pressed powder right there go ahead and apply some of that on my nose too um, especially since I have like this demarcation right here mark that I just want to just soften just a little bit now I'm gonna go ahead and um, set my face go ahead and set my face I would typically use the um, Too Faced Beauty three in one setting mist and spray whatever I'll put it somewhere here on the screen, but I can't find it like nowhere. So I'm using this one size until dawn um, setting spray right here. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna use to set. <laughs> Woo! Underneath my eyes. I'm a firm believer, and I don't know where I've seen this, right, or where I got this from, but I'm a firm believer that somewhere in between, like, your translucent powder pigmented shade and a translucent translucent shade is the perfect, like, highlight for under... Lately, or for a while, I would add the pigmented shade and then the translucent, but lately I've been mixing the two right off bat tapping it on my you know wrists of course and then going in underneath here like that and i know it looks a little ghostly but don't don't be alarmed i promise it's gonna come together i think y'all have seen it come together before but you know sometimes when you try to show people stuff that's when things don't want to act right right so Now, I don't go back in and set like my forehead. I just use the excess. Okay, any excess, of course, I'm gonna use a soft brush. Let me use a softer brush. Now, I got like some wrinkling underneath my eyes. I've uh, been sleeping on my hydration. So I feel like I'm a little dehydrated and that's always visible like through my skin. Blush on out with my cheeks and then like add my lip. But it's this one that I'm gonna apply to my cheeks. No, that's not her either. This is her, my blush. My Real Techniques blush brush. Bring my blush up here, like up here. Okay, now let's go ahead and do this lip tech. <laughs> this lip, this is um, mm, my lips look dry, y'all, but I promise it's not dry. Okay. And I've been leaning into my Juvia's Place lipsticks lately. I just bust one out and I was like, oh, I just forgot how good this was. This is the color Lady. And then I'm gonna gloss her up with this lip glass by MAC. Ooh. 
Ugh. And this is the look. And if anybody is wondering what I used on my eyes, this is one of the Juvia's Place palettes, one of the Warrior palettes. Um, this is the Warrior 2 by Juvia's Place palette that I have on my eyes. And this is the look. That has been like my foundation routine and some of the techniques that I've been using lately. If you found any of this helpful, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Um, this does help for it to become a little bit more discoverable out here in these YouTube streets. And um, go ahead and comment below. I want to know some techniques that you may have not seen me do that you use. That will ultimately help us all elevate um, out here when it comes to just your overall foundation and or base technique. Um, and also, as I like to say, if we vibe, go ahead and hit that button and subscribe. Join the tribe, join the community, and make sure that you never miss a beat. And until the next video, peace.